Hey, welcome back, guys. We're going to talk about LSPFR Enhanced. And if you do me a big ass favor and log into YouTube, just take those extra few seconds for me. I really appreciate it. And then like and comment. It really helps it rate a little bit higher on the YouTubes out there. Right now, we're on Legacy. So I want to get that out of the way. If you have any problems or questions in relation to LSPFR Enhanced, the best thing to do is go down here and go to his Discord. Okay, now to install this is relatively easy for everybody. And I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, go ahead and pull up the zip file and open up the LSPFR Enhanced Remastered Edition. And then open this folder here called Drop to GTA Folder. Best thing to do is just take these two folders, drag it in here, go to Plugins, go to LSPFR, and then right here, you're gonna have a folder called LSPFR Enhanced. Now, when you open this folder, Profiles is where your stuff is gonna you know, end up whenever you load into the game and you create a career. It'll go here. Now, before we get into the rank structure, we have to kind of go in steps, okay? So kind of bear with me, and this will probably help you out anyway, is uh, go to the Settings default right here. And right here is your main menu that you're gonna open up when you're inside the game. And it's super important to understand that you have to have LSPFR running and you have to already be on duty uh, whenever you're starting a new career or doing anything uh, with LSPFR Enhanced. This is your default key. It is the F6 key. Now that is going to interfere with one of my keys and this is how you change the key. So I'm gonna change mine to the F8 key because it works a little bit better for me. Uh, the interact key, I would just probably leave it as T, it's a good key. Uh, now the HUD is the elements that's on the screen, like your, your health and your food and your rank on the screen. Mine will interfere with this, so I'm gonna change mine to the F10 key, but remember it's F7 for you. Now the blips key has to do with the restaurants, cafes, and also the gas stations. And so if you want to see that on the mini map, leave it as F11 is fine. I'm going to change mine to F12. I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. Uh, log into the game. Uh, make sure you're on duty. And then uh, I'll show you where the profile settings ended up. And then we'll bounce out. And then I'll show you how to do the rank structures. You're going to get a welcome message from LSPFR Enhanced. So now we're going to press F8. And we're going to start our career. And uh, to go ahead and say create new career. Name it whatever you feel like it. And just press enter. And then you want to go ahead and just apply settings, however you want to do it. And we're going to be teleported over to the airport. Kind of read what's on the screen. Uh, this one here is about 700. Uh, this one here is about uh, 600. And that one's about 600 and something. And this one here is only 400. So it's totally up to you on that part. So you could, I guess, just go over here. All right, so if you decide to do this one, I'll just go ahead and do this one. I'll uh, just kind of show you really quickly. So if you press T, uh, then you press Enter. Uh, you'll see right there is $628 a week. So I'm just going to do this one. And uh, this one here is now being rented. You can see the bottom above the minimap. Uh, so this is the only one we can go to at the moment. But I will talk to you about the police stations and stuff here in a little bit. Go into the station by pressing T. So before we start our shift, we could probably go ahead and uh, leave the station before you start your shift. Don't do that yet. And if you've already done it, don't worry about it. Technically, everything has been, you know, created. Our profile has been created. Uh, go ahead and unload LSPFR. Uh, this is just an easy way to do this, okay? So press F4 and say unload plugin space. Start typing out LSPD. Press tab and now press enter. Uh, now you can safely alt tab out of your game. Once again, I'm just going to show you really fast. Plugins, LSPFR, LSPFR enhance. Now, if you go to profiles, uh, you'll now have a new folder there. And whatever your career name is, you're going to open that folder. And so this is where we can actually start you know, changing the ranks. So I'm going to put a timestamp here because everybody wants to know, you know how to change your ranks and then also how to change the cars and then go to ranks. Now it's going to pull it up in a XML document. If you don't have this, if you're unable to open that file, if it looks like a blank folder, you need to go to Google and just type in notepad plus plus free download. And it takes a couple of seconds to install it. By the way, it kind of depends on when you're watching this video. These are DLC car packs that were uh, defaulted to be installed into this document. It may not be there whenever you go and watch this video. So it may get confusing, but just realize it may be fixed in the future. But right now, these are DLC packs that just happen to default inside here. No idea why, but that's the way it is. Now, Officer 1 is the name of your rank. You can change that to anything you want. So there's some UK crowd out there, uh, uh, Police Cadet. So you can change the name. It doesn't really matter. Now, the required points, obviously, I uh, start off at zero. Uh, that's uh, your rookie, right? Uh, this is what I would do. This is, remember, this is officer one. Where you want to be limited. Highlight that. Uh, press backspace. Press backspace again. And notice we just got rid of that code. We don't need that code because we're going to take this right here and just highlight this in the middle. Double click. Just highlight the name. 
and then type in the word police. Police, as you guys know, is your, your first cruiser. You can add an add-on vehicle here, any vehicle you want. It does not matter what you do right here, as long as it matches the vehicle name. So if you have an add-on and that's your add-on name, that's what you put there. And then if you have another one, take this code right here, highlight it, left control C, come to the end of the code and then press enter and then left control V, or you can do right click paste. Maybe this one here, you know, is a 2014 uh, Charger. You know, whatever your add-on name is, that's how you add an add-on car. And so I think that'll satisfy most everybody. Change the name to anything you want right here. It could be whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, that's the game reference of what it looks like, you know, on the screen in the garage. Remember, we changed it from Paul Greenwood. These cars will be removed because uh, no wonder people are having so many issues. Uh, so it'll be corrected, I'm sure. Uh, I like to kind of do the, the type of car it is, you know, uh, for me it is the Ford Police Interceptor Sedan. So FPIS, otherwise Taurus, basically. Uh, you can say uh, Police Taurus, you know, it doesn't really matter what you call it here, guys. You can do it like that. It's kind of silly, but that's what I did. So that is, remember, Officer Rank 1. And down here, uh, you can add in another station. Uh, you can grab the code down here if you want. So here's Officer 1. Uh, it's going to be $45 an hour, if, and that's default, by the way. Uh, that right there is a, a pretty good salary, if you think about it, starting off. Uh, that's accurate. Uh, so I'd leave that alone, personally. Uh, you'll gain money as you play, you know. This is the officer uniform. I don't know whether to really talk about it too much on this video, uh, because it's going to get so detailed, man. Uh, you guys are just going to leave the video. Uh, but I may come back and make a more detailed one later. Officer 2. You know, notice the salary is a little higher. The XP to get here is 500. Uh, we have three police stations. And then we also have another one that just opened up called Port of Los Santos Police Station. And so these are the zones that you'll get access to per police station. And yes, you can actually add more zones in here if you wanted to maybe grab these zones if you wanted to. And then left control C, you could come down here to the port and you could potentially paste those press enter, and then you could do Del Perro. Come down here to the zone, press enter, and then you can actually have all the zones while you go to this police station right there. And that's how you add more zones if you feel like it. Now, we're just gonna back it up, go back to default, okay? Here is officer two, right? And so this is what I would do. Uh, take all of this code all the way from there to there. See what I did right there? I just kind of highlighted it. Press uh, backspace, press backspace one more time. Line up the code a little bit, police. You know, name it whatever you want. Uh, police, FPIS, just as an example. Uh, we're gonna call this one, I uh, will do police two. Uh, this one depends on what you have in there. It doesn't matter, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna say, I'll just call it a uh, police charger. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cheesy. Uh, you can say badass charger or whatever you want. So now we're down to officer three. Uh, starting XP to get here is 1000. Uh, the salary is 55. Uh, now you have access uh, to another police station, Vespucci police station. Uh, this one here, same way. I'll show you another easier way to do this. Come back up here again and just copy from here to there. Notice we're inside the code. The start and the end, I like from here to there. And uh, you can right click copy. Come down here again. And then just copy. Remember, this is this is the uh, first, the start of the code, end of the code. I like from here inside of it and come over this way and notice I've highlighted everything inside the code and then right click and then paste it. And so that's just another way to, to get it in there. And so this time uh, you could add another vehicle if you wanted to. If you wanted to keep yourself from having, you know, extra vehicles, uh, just leave it alone and you can just leave it like that. And you can come down here to officer three plus one. Uh, this is what I did on mine right here. Instead of officer three plus one, I went ahead and changed mine to corporal. Uh, $60 an hour is pretty good. And then you can see right here, and notice I left these the same. There's no rule stating you have to keep adding your cars, right? But you can add as many cars as you feel like you need to. Uh, you can even, even do add-ons. I showed you already how to do an add-on. You can name it anything you want to. Uh, just make sure the car model is accurate to your add-on. Uh, Corporal, he has access to the Vinewood uh, police station, which is nice, right? So come down here, and then we're going to do this one. Highlight from here. I uh, right-click and paste it. And then this time we're gonna add a vehicle. So I highlight from here to there, and then you just right click copy you want. Uh, click at the end of the code, press enter, and then you can just right click paste it. And then how about we name this one to police three. 
And then this one here, we'll name it Tahoe. Uh, so anyway, now you have access to the place three when you're up to corporal. Totally up to you on how you do your ranks. Uh, keep coming down here because you're going to go down to sergeant eventually. And I'd keep doing the same thing, guys. Just, you know, just keep adding, you know, like these right here. If, this, if you're happy with this, I just right click and copy it. I uh, come down here to sergeant and then notice all this crap. Uh, go ahead and just highlight from there to there and then just right click and paste it. If you want to have access to other vehicles like police four, uh, same thing, or FBI, you know, just add that in there. I already showed you how to do that. And now down here, Sergeant two, same thing, right? Uh, he has access to a lot of stations. I uh, come down here and we'll just do the same thing. i uh, right click and paste it. Uh, another question you're going to ask is how do you add an entire rank, you know, to this? So let me show you how it's done. If you look at the rank, if I click on the word rank right here, uh, right there, you can see that's the end of the code right there. But the start of the code, you see it's highlighted in white right here. Scroll up. And then here's the start of the code. So take the entire rank and copy it. So go ahead and copy from here all the way down until you get to rank right there. And just be really careful not to miss code. Uh, you can right click and then copy if you want or left control C. Click at the end of the rank. Press your enter key, and then uh, you can do left control V if you want. That'll paste it. And so now this one is in a completely different rank, even though it matches Sergeant 2. So you can name this one, maybe this as an example, uh, you can say Lieutenant. And there's a Lieutenant, and uh, we're going to make him a higher pay. So how about we do, you know, you could do like $80 an hour. Uh, but make sure you change the required points for this one. It needs to, to uh, be above the Sergeant 2. So this one here, maybe put it at 4,000 or something. He already has pretty much access to all the, all the stations, uh, pretty much. I would just leave it all the same. Uh, this is pretty much the entire city. And you've already done your, your slots right here. But maybe on this guy, copy some code right here. Uh, this lieutenant, uh, he has access to the uh, FBI slot. And then maybe he has access also uh, to the, uh, the FBI too. And then here... Of course, uh, depends on what you have in there. Just as an example, I don't really remember what I have in there. Label is undercover, but maybe name it, you know, you can say sedan. Uh, this one here, we'll do something similar. Undercover Tahoe, you know, as, as an example. Now, before we go back into the game, make sure you come up here at the very top and then make sure you go to file and then definitely save that document. We alt tabbed, right? Uh, we're still in the game. So this is what how you do this, GTA 5. And now check it out. Uh, now you can load it. So just press F4 and say load plugin and say LSPD, press tab, press enter. Force, duty, press enter. All right, now once you get on duty like this, uh, now you want to load your career again. Remember, you have to load it. And now I'm gonna go here to load career. Don't start new one. I uh, just go to load career and then say, this is mine right here, okay, as a test. I'm gonna press enter. And now watch what happens. I'm gonna go back here to my house because this is kind of like the last known spot that it kind of remembers the last known data, I guess, that it picked up on. Now, if I went on duty, it would have spawned me back at the station. And notice we do have access to Vespucci now. Uh, that is in our document. Your profile automatically got populated. And so Del Perro is there. And then also Vespucci police station was also there. I remember this is officer rank one. And so that got populated and now we have access to two stations. Whereas before, uh, technically we had to go down you know, to the pier. So we can go uh, any, any one of these. So we have access to this one or this one. I just press T and then come over here. And then we're gonna press T right here to start our shift. So press T. And then, uh, like I said, the uh, this is all the, the uniform that you have right now. If you guys wanna see a detailed video on the uniforms, if you don't mind something that's little detailed you think today's detailed uh the uniform stuff is more detailed uh, let me know down below it will not hurt my feelings if you don't comment about it uh so we're gonna press enter right here and so you're gonna face this way and then uh, you're just gonna kind of start your shift you're changing clothes and you're gonna grab a bag and we're gonna press t uh, you can press k or l we'll rotate this stuff and then you can activate your lights. And then here you do have components. If you want to do that, uh, you'll have liveries. If you have extra liveries for whatever vehicle you have installed and notice what it was called. It's called the police FPIS. 
and down here you can spawn a vehicle so we'll spawn this one back here you're gonna press t to store away your your bag into the vehicle it'll spawn outside look at the top left of the screen notice it says 48 minutes uh 48 minutes i've been on shift and like every four seconds it does an extra minute and so it has to be one full hour before you can clock out so you have to be on shift for one hour so i'm gonna go ahead and go back into the station and pretend like we just did a full eight hours okay you have to write the report before you end your shift it'll do some animation like this so down here is your shift summary and we didn't do any calls or anything like that but uh, it'd be very detailed as to what happened in your game press backspace and then you have to end your shift down here press t uh, to end the shift and then we didn't do the shift objective so my bad i forgot to tell you about that uh, when you get on duty make sure you come over here to the bulletin board and then you'll press t right here and then you're going to get an objective above the mini map uh, over here you can f find out what your rank is once you're off duty and then right now we haven't made any progress because we didn't do anything if you had a lot of call outs uh, you'll probably about eight percent in something like that uh, but anyway that i think that's enough to kind of get you guys started until next time i'll see you in the next patrol take care and stay safe <music>